Hey there, welcome back to Featherwood Farm. We are in the cottage garden where I have been working on getting the picket fence built. Pretty excited about that. Got a bunch of the post holes dug and a bunch of the posts set in them. And I got, uh, actually right behind me, um, some of the runners cut up and ready to be installed on those. I'm waiting on my neighbor to bring by the lumber for the actual pickets. I don't have a specific design set yet. I've got a couple of ideas that I'm going to play around with, so I'm going to get some kind of pieces mocked up and see what speaks to me and go from there, and then I'll have to stain it. I don't think I'll be able to get to that anytime soon. We have rain in the forecast, so that might have to wait quite a while, but I'm thinking I might be able to get the actual fence built and wrapped up in the next week or so, uh, depending on when he gets that lumber here. I do still have to move the ceramic coop out of the way and remove one small portion of fence um, over on this side, but that won't take me long. I'll get to that today, hopefully, and get the rest of the posts installed and make great progress. Okay, so this is standing outside of where the fence is going to be. This is where those black metal gates were before. I have those removed, they're right here. Um, I'm not gonna put those on again on this new fence. I'm going to build uh, wood gates, so those might get repurposed somewhere else. But um, got this post set for the gate, and then I, this is the portion that I still have to take out are these four and a little bit of welded wire that's with them and get another gate post installed right here and then looking straight across you'll be able to walk through and there will be another gate on the other side because I'm going for all sorts of efficiency and ease of mobility through here so again another gate post installed right here I will have to move the Royal Star Magnolia so I'm gonna dig that up and just put it in um, a nursery pot that I have laying around somewhere and then yes getting the ceramic coop moved I think the rose bush is fine where it is for now it'll be close but uh, it'll be okay as well as the other shrubs right here but I will get them out eventually um, all of my roses I'm actually gonna take out and put in planters this year anyway so I really only have four more posts to go over here and four more over there, but I'll just reuse the holes from the existing one, so that'll be nice. Only four more holes to dig. I dug all of the gate posts at about 20, 22 inches deep, and I kept them a little bit taller. Um, not quite four foot tall. Everything else is a little under three foot tall. The corner posts I also dug a little bit deeper as well and everything in between is buried at about 14 to 16 inches. I did not cement anything in the ground, I'm just really packing them and tamping them down with the clay. In my experience, uh, using concrete didn't actually help much as far as keeping them like completely straight and sturdy. Our ground just gets so wet in certain places that it didn't really matter, so to save my back and to save a little bit of money, just uh, omitted that. I did put a little bit of gravel at the bottom of each post. So you can see here, corner post is taller, and then this will be the front entry gate leading in. I'm pretty excited with the progress that I've made and seeing this project kind of come to life finally, even with just kind of this outline and that's all that I have to go from, I can really imagine what it's going to look like. And I can't wait for the final product. Like I said, it's not going to be soon. Um, hopefully I'll have the actual fence done in like a week or so but as far as like the staining and the building of the gates and stuff that'll take me a little bit longer but it should be really good and it should help keep my chickens out <laughs> which is my primary concern at 
the moment, um, as well as the deer and the rabbits. So you can see here all of the tulips have really come up a lot since uh, the last video where I shared them. And then over here are some anemone and ranunculus coming up in these beds. Okay, so I was just over here in the corner where I have to get the rest of that uh, welded wire fence taken out and I thought that I was going to remove those posts that were already in there, but those are all pretty pretty sound in there, pretty snug in there, so I'm going to leave them. It's all but the one in the corner. Um, that one's a little wobbly, so we'll take that one out and replace that one and then it'll just be a matter of getting them cut down to size. But in the meantime, with that fence gone, I get to kind of clean up that where the grass was growing up around the fence and I couldn't really get to uh, in season and stuff. So get that all cleaned up and looking nice. Mm -hmm. 